Okay, so I'm talking about our work on long-term voice evaluation and learning. Our motivation is to develop a statistical estimation framework to be able to accurately predict the long-term outcome of decision-making policies at the end of the short-term experiment. What I mean by that is, so here is the example situation where we have some historical log data set predicted by a baseline algorithm. And we are developing a new algorithm and we compared a new algorithm and a baseline algorithm in a month long short term experiment. But we have not yet observed the kind of long term outcome, for example, like six months cumulative revenue. And given this situation, we want to be able to accurately estimate the six months cumulative revenue, the long term outcome of the new algorithm and the baseline algorithm to be able to pick the better one regarding the long term outcome. So the question is, how can we do this? How can we predict the long term outcome using only historical data set? and also the short-term experiment. Long-term photo inference and long-term policy evaluation program has been very popular among the industry researchers and there are many related papers out of the industry recently. And we can actually formulate this problem as a statistical estimation uh, problem of estimating the long-term value, which is the expected long-term reward under a new policy pi one. And we are developing a new estimator or accurate estimator that is to be able to estimate this uh, the expected long-term reward using some available data. So one like infeasible baseline is to actually run a long-term experiment, let's say like six months or one year type of long-term experiment, which is going to be very accurate, but this is something very impractical because running a year long experiment just to choose the uh, better algorithm is actually a you know, slow process. So there are some typical frameworks of doing this long-term estimation using only available data set. One is long-term causal inference. This is a very simple two-step estimation procedure, which is good. Uh, but this long-term causal inference procedure is based on a restricted assumption called surrogacy assumption, producing a lot of bias. Another way to do uh, the long-term estimation is to apply off policy evaluation methods on the historical data set. The downside of this off policy evaluation method is that we cannot actually use short-term rewards or short-term experiment data when using this off policy evaluation method. So this method is actually very inefficient. So we developed a new approach, which is called long-term of policy evaluation or loop. This is basically just the better approach compared to the baseline approaches, namely LCI and OPE. The core idea of our method is this reward function decomposition. We consider this decomposition of the long-term reward into the surrogate effect, which is a short-term reward effect, and a policy effect, which is the effect of individual policies. And based on this very simple reward decomposition, we develop a new statistical estimator called log estimator. And we show some you know, very nice bias variance properties of our estimator. This one is saying that our method has lower bias compared to LCI due to more deduct assumption. We also show that we deduce variance compared to typical OPA methods. Uh, this is due to the effective usage of the short-term rewards and the short-term experiment data. And there are many like impressive results on a range of uh, synthetic environments, including policy evaluation, policy selection, policy learning regarding the long-term outcome. But one of the most impressive observations in our in particular section was that our method most accurately predicted the long-term outcome of three different recommendation policies on a real Spotify data So our method is actually already making your own on a, uh, one of the largest music streaming services in the world.